If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over my Team of the Week Week 9 predictions, guys. Now, this has the potential to be one of the best Team of the Weeks we've seen all year. I'm super excited. I think this is going to be a fun one. I have a lot of good guys. Uh, some weirder ones than usual. Some really banger ones if we do get them. Some cool throwbacks here. But guys, before we get into today's video, let's give a shout out to the Poodle Squad. If you do want a chance to be shouted out today in the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Now for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Richard Quillen. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support on each and every video. Greatly appreciate it. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you need coins to pick up anything, I finally got the intro working back in the video. So if you need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle 50% off your order. Take advantage of all the Halloween discounts that are still on the website, and they probably will keep going down as we go on. So take advantage. But yeah, that's about it. Let's get into these predictions. I will be doing it off Monday, guys. I do have to go buy an Elgato today so I can start recording again from the replacement computer I have right now. So for now, I'm going to be doing it on here, but it doesn't really make a difference either way. I'm pre just predicting. So um, first, guys, get into our lower guys. So it's actually probably easier here to go ahead and do this because as you can see here, so I think that from our lower guys, we'll be getting a team of the week of Minka Fitzpatrick. Now remember that Minka Fitzpatrick already has a plus one upgrade. So as you can see here, he already can get up to an 89 overall uh, with his current power up sta uh, status. So I think he'll be getting another plus one, which would push him into the 90 territory. He had six tackles, one fumble, and a pick. Now if Minka gets that, he will be in the 90. He'll have 90 speed. He'll have 93 excel. But most importantly, he's going to finally be above. He's going to have a 92 zone, and he's going to have 85 man, which means plus 5 with lockdown. He can finally get threshold man and zone and play rec, and he'll have 90 speed. So Mink overall is actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, next, guys, for my next one, we have Jabril Peppers. Now, Jabril Peppers currently only has a 77 gold. So I do imagine he'll probably end up getting like an 83, maybe 82, 84 team of the week. He had, again, six tackles, one fumbles, on a pick. So he'll probably end up with like an 87 speed on his next card, 88 speed. Probably above like 85 hit power and closer to 80 zone. Probably like a 76 zone. He's not going to be a great card at all. Because he is just a core gold going up. Nothing too great there. Next, guys. Now, I'm not going to show you guys all these ones that aren't that important. I got Jared, Jared uh, Jaron Reed, 2.5 sacks. Now, this one is really important. I think for our next week, we get Dalvin Cook. Now, I don't think he's going to get a hero. But I think he can get another plus one. Now, currently, with plus one. So, he goes up to here with his, uh, with his 91 uh, LTD. Then he gets to this one with his plus one power up, which means he will get to a 93 now. So with his 93, he'll have a 92 speed, which will make him one of the fastest backs in the game. He'll have 94 agility, 95 change of direction, 93 excel. His shoot quit to a 94, his break tackle will be an 89. If he gets to a 93 plus one, uh, with the plus one overall, guys, he will be one of the best backs in Madden 21. Overall, he's already one of the best backs, but he is slowly but surely becoming one of the best power up uh, running backs. So, hopefully, you know, he can get one. I don't think he'll get a hero just because it seems unrealistic that, you know, with all these plus ones, you can a hero wouldn't help him because he already is a 92. So, that's kind of an issue there for all you guys wondering. Like, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, like, why hasn't he gotten one? And it's just it's just that reason. So, actually, let's back out there. Let's go back to this one. So, I think Tyreek Hill will be getting the next one. Tyreek Hill, 113 yards, uh, two touchdowns. Now, with Tyreek Hill, again, he can already get up to, I believe it's an 88 overall. 88 overall. So, he's going to be able to get up to an 89 following this so being an 89 overall he'll get to a 92 speed uh 91 agility but really matters is 92 excel 92 speed he's one of the faster uh wide receivers in the game again it's still not going to help him too much because he's everyone has deep route running threshold now everyone has that speed tyreek hill needs a big upgrade i don't know how he hasn't gotten him yet it must be saving for some but it definitely hasn't happened yet and now for the final guy richie james guys 184 yards but that's it for my lower set pieces now for my bigger ones which are going to be the ones that i'm concerned about here I'm going to be showing you guys some of their stats here since I know you guys are probably curious in terms of where I see all this. So for my lower set, guys, Isaac Bruce is going to be my um, legend hero. You guys are the flashback ones. That's going to be my flashback heroes that we're going to be focusing on. So he's going to be the offensive one, and this is going to be week nine. Remember, guys, so if we come on down to all the week nines, and this is how you guys can look at them here uh, for who you think would get it. Now, in 1996, Isaac Bruce... Had 15 targets, 11 receptions, 229 yards, one touchdown. The game overall was just really, really good. He had two, you know, 229 yards and a touchdown is all you can say about that. So that's going to be my offensive hero. Now the next one's a guy that most of you guys probably don't know and understandably so. Chris Gamble played for the Panthers uh, for at least most of his career, as long as I know. Uh, he was drafted in the first round. 
Now, coming into a week 2000, uh, 2005, week 9, he had, uh, what's it called? One touchdown, five tackles, uh, an interception, a pass deflection, and we have to right there. But he, had, he did have a really good game. So he had four total uh, tackles, one assisted tackle, five combined total, uh, interception, and he had um, the two the two interceptions, the 101 yards. Sorry, guys. The list would just throw me off there for a second. So two interceptions, 101 yards, and a touchdown. So that's, that's a lot. So he had some pretty big returns. Must have been pretty athletic or just had a lot of green green grass in front of him. Either way, I could see him getting a card. Overall, did really, really good. But let's get into my current week heroes here. So my current week heroes. So let's start with this week. So remember, the current hero is someone from this week in current NFL. So for my current week hero, I'm going to go with Kyler Murray. Now, yes, some people are going to say that it should be Josh Allen. So statistically, I think they're almost identical. Josh Allen had four touchdowns, 415 yards uh, passing. One of the touchdowns were rushing, three of them were passing. Now, Kyler Murray only had like 330 or 320 uh, passing yards with three touchdowns, but he also had 100 and something, I think it was like 106, 116 rushing yards with an additional touchdown. So I feel like that 100 rushing yards looks cooler than, or is more impressive than an extra 100 passing yards. So I think Kyler Murray can get it over Allen. Now, for Kyler Murray, he already gets to 90 overall. So if he gets a Team of the Week hero, his power-up will go up to, I believe, a 90. He'll get a 92. So he'll have a 93 overall. So 93 overall, and Kyler Murray probably ends up with, like, 92, 93 speed. So he ends up with a 92, 93 speed. Um, let's go with 93. So that's crazy. He's going to have a 93 speed at quarterback, which is insane. He's going to have a throw power probably in the 93, 94 range, which means you could probably get that close to 99. Uh, throwing the run to move 90. His deep accuracy will get close enough to where you can threshold it up, which is great. So essentially, guys, if this Kyler Murray gets it, he's going to be a Vic. Uh, maybe better. Maybe the same. Maybe worse. Really depends. I have to see how they're actually going to do the stats. But Kyler Murray would be a goon. You guys all know Kyler Murray would be really, really, really good. Overall, as you can see, he'd be just like Vic. He'd probably get short accuracy threshold. He can get the deep, and his medium, medium accuracy will probably just fall short. But again, just like Vic, he'll have above 90 break sackle. He'll have crazy throw power. Great ball carry vision, um, great excel, great agility, great speed. But yeah, overall, Kyle Murray would be really good. So that's our current hero. And then, guys, for our LTD. Our LTD, I sure hope this is who we get. This would be a super fun card. And that's going to be Adrian Peterson. Now, Adrian Peterson currently on the Lions gets up to an 86 overall. Now, remember, this may just be Adrian Peterson now, but if we can get, we're going to get a flashback on the Vikings. Uh, in this week, guys, week nine, he had 296 yards and three touchdowns. Do you guys do you guys comprehend the magnitude of that? 296 yards and three touchdowns. I'm almost positive this was the year that he almost broke Eric Dickerson's record. This was his MVP year. He's crazy. Um, Adrian Peterson's crazy. Now, if he gets a 92 overall, and this is flashback to the Vikings, you have to imagine, right, with a plus six, well, let's play plus seven because of power, a plus seven increase in overall, he probably ends up, at around a 92 speed, 93 speed, right? 92, 93 speed. His strength is north of 80. His change of direction is probably pushing 87. His excel is above 90. His awareness is above 90. His agility is pushing 90. Um, his trucking is above 90, well above. His break tackle is 90. His stiff arm is above 90. His juke is above 90. His carrying is near 90. He's going to be a very well-rounded back. Will he compete with Saquon? It really depends on the speed. If he gets to 93 speed, he will be a more power back version of Saquon, maybe less agile version of Saquon. He could be Bo Jackson-esque in terms of like taller, powerful, less side to side movement. But he was really good at side to side movement in his prime. So hopefully they. Last the thing I can't really base it off this because this is Redskins AP, more straight line speed, more power, less agility. Right now, they're, this is the issue. They shouldn't base it off this card. If it's based off a flashback, Adrian Peterson when he was younger, way more agile, way more juking. He was able to also do power, but now they focus more on power and straight line speed than they used to. But, you know, still, hopefully, they give Adrian Peterson the card. So, overall, guys, you got LTD current, Adrian Peterson, current hero. I mean, LT, yeah, LTD for the current, you know, NFL state, Adrian Peterson, current week hero of this end of this year, Kyler Murray. Legend heroes, Isaac Bruce, Chris Gamble, lower set guys, Richard James, Tyreek Hill, Dalvin Cook, Jerron Reed, Minka Fitzpatrick, and Jabril Peppers. Now, guys, that's better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's Team of the Week predictions. This is a fun one. Definitely one of the better ones. If we can even hit on some of these, that'd be awesome. The lower set guys are usually we usually go like three out of six to so six out of six. It's more so the higher ones. But that's better for the video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And of course, guys, if you are wanting if you guys are looking for a chance, be shout out to the next Poodle Squad. Like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad and turn on that noti bell. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Richard Quill and once again, shout out to you. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day.
Peace.